Welcome back, I'm Gareth Edwards. Mpumalanga's health MEC has sparked outrage, claiming she could not personally deal with deaths at initiation schools. Candice Macheco Tlamini says tradition prevents her from getting involved. Well, let's speak to someone who knows a lot about this topic. It's Nombaniso Gasa, a researcher and analyst focusing on gender and culture. Nombaniso, good morning to you. As always, a pleasure to have you in. Uh, do you think the outrage at the minister's comments that she can't get involved because she's a woman is uh, justified? Well, of course it is. I mean, there are a number of things here. Firstly, one of the things that we've not really interrogated is that these deaths have happened in government registered initiation schools. S they were supposed to have been health officials. They're supposed to have been different um, role players. So if all of those things had been taken into consideration, so um, Already that means that that particular cultural practice mm. is aware of the changing environment. So she can't really say that she can't be involved because she's a woman. So surely part of the team of the health department in Bumalanga should know how to intervene and how to make um, these kinds of um, processes safer. The second issue is that, in fact, they were alerted, you know, that there were problems and they only responded after a few deaths right that is the department and so ultimately the the, the embassy whether she's a woman or a man um, or transgender um, she has the responsibility she has the political responsibility to ensure that um, these schools operate within um, what has been agreed in terms of um, the standards. Explain to me, and it's, it's a question I don't mean to ask in ignorance. People are asking, how does patriarchy in South Africa, and the comment from the health MEC that we've seen, saying she can't get involved because she's a woman, does that really overpower her job as a politician? Are we still in that way of thinking that men are in control? Well, it's her choice, you know. Um, frankly, it's a choice, it's, a, it's, it's an excuse. There are a lot of women actually who get involved in, 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 in initiation processes, medical practitioners and so on, where there's an emergency. So if she understands her responsibility, and clearly she doesn't understand the Constitution. You know, she doesn't understand that the Constitution respects and recognizes cultural and traditional practices, but in the end, the Constitution trumps that. So if you find an MEC, you know, whether it is a man or a woman saying, you know, because of cultural um, beliefs and religious beliefs, I can't do this, then she's got no business being there. If she does retract the statement, let's for example, and we know she hasn't, she said on this show, on this channel, that she's not going to back down from what she said. What should she have done, in your opinion? Well, you know, the thing is, um, firstly, the whole range of processes about government registered initiation schools. So I'm hoping that the, the report, the investigation will show where, who dropped the ball and where. But one of the things that this MEC has done is very similar to what politicians do in this country. They always find a reason and an excuse um, not to take responsibility. Mm -hmm. um, now you have a situation where traditional leaders are saying she didn't respond in time. You have um, a situation where she says, why did the initiations happen without medical um, you know, uh, personnel? Okay. The point is that if she and her team had done their work and were on top of their jobs and had an understanding of what their responsibility is, that all those things would have been taken care of. But it shows that in fact she doesn't understand what her responsibility is. She doesn't understand that as an MEC, her loyalty and her responsibility is derived primarily from the Constitution. And, and so whatever cultural respect and beliefs and so on, if she had done her work properly and her team had done their work properly, mm. they would have ensured that that did not arise. And, and, and she is not going to, she's not going to resign. Right, because 23, in fact, it's, a, it's risen to 26 deaths. She's not going to resign because 26 deaths mean nothing for politicians in this country. A very quick uh, question. We are a little tight on time, mm. and Nombani, so yes or no, if you can, should the, should the health MEC of Mpumalanga resign as quickly as you can? Well, um, you know, whether she resigns or not, somebody else is going to replace her, okay, who has similar attitude and who's completely, the, uh, who's negligent. 
right? So whether she resigns, the question would be what other processes are going to be in place? What we see, whether you talk about the Gupta gate, whether you talk about a whole range of things that hap are happening in this country, is that politicians are not wanting to take responsibility for their actions. So I'm afraid to say that she's taking cue from her seniors and, and she feels that, you know, 26 deaths mean nothing and then she'll stay and she'll be protected. Very strong words. Thank you for coming in this morning indeed to share your thoughts with us. Analyst Nombonisa Gasa uh, joining us on Morning News Today. News that moves. ENCA.com.